Hello, welcome to Landlording TV, teaching you how to organize and run a profitable rental empire. I am your host, Justin Palma. Today we are in the office and we are talking about capitalization rates. When you're out shopping for properties, that's a term that may come up and it's one you should know and use. You should also use this for when you're selling your property because chances are good that potential buyers are going to be running this formula on your property's numbers that you supplied in the listing. So, let's get started. Capitalization rates in you. <laughs> Why use a capitalization rate? It's pretty much the easiest and most popular formula to compare a property's performance versus other similar properties. So, you're going to see it sometimes in listings for investment properties, or you might hear people talking about it if you're trying to sell a property. And, um, something you should be familiar with and a lot of people actually use it don't completely understand how to use it and we'll talk about that in a second uh, one of the problems with it, it's a little too simple it doesn't measure cash flow because it doesn't take into account any mortgages or debts of that nature it only takes into account uh, net operating income so it's very simple but it is best used as your first line of offense when shopping for property so kind of if you have a stack of properties you're looking at run this formula on the numbers of those properties and this will give you a quick ballpark of which ones are worth your time and which are not. Okay. Now, here is the actual formula. Don't get scared because it's really super simple. So the capitalization rate equals the net operating income divided by the value of the property. What is net operating income? You may ask. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Net operating income is your gross scheduled rent income. That's just your plan because you obviously won't know what it is. Minus your vacancy percentage on that rent income, which is typically 3 to 6 percent. Minus your operating expenses only, when that's going to be your insurance and utilities and things like that, not uh, depreciation or income taxes or anything like that. And that is how you get your net operating income. Okay, so let's actually run this in an example. If your annual income is 24000 a year, this is your annual gross planned or scheduled income, meaning you got a bunch of, pro you got, say, let's say four units in it, and um, the total would be 2000 a month is going to be 24000 a year. So let's do a 5% vacancy on it. And this is kind of arbitrary, but typically people use between 3 and 6%. So at 5%, we're going to get $1,200 for the year, which kind of seems maybe low, about right. Maybe that's like two apartments, two months vacant for a $600 apartment. Okay, let's say you have operating expenses of $2,200. So that's your insurance. That's going to be any maintenance fees, uh, advertising, um, little things like that. Again, this is not your mortgage payments or anything like that. There's our line. <laughs> and your net operating income for that year, your first year, would be $20,600, roughly. This is very, very ballparked, and as you can see, it's kind of just able to just kind of put it together quickly. So, if we run that in our magic cap rate formula, 20600 divided by 200000 200000 is arbitrary. I'm just saying that's the cost of a potential property that you're looking at. They have it listed for $200,000. The cap rate is 10.3%. Now, is that good? We don't know. It depends on your area and the market. So this number may seem arbitrary now, 10.3%, but after you've ran it on numbers on 5, 10, 15 properties, and you start seeing these capitalization rates, you're going to start to see a pattern and you're going to want to start looking at, focus only on the highest ones. The highest ones mean they have the most amount of income based on the actual um, value of the property. And value is kind of, it's not really, it's not the value, it's what they're asking for. So run this formula on the numbers you're putting into your listing and kind of compare it against um, all the other similar properties in your area and that's going to kind of help get you ahead of the pack for uh, potential buyers. And that's it. That is capitalization rate.